So finally we dive into European football in Pro Evolution Soccer 2021. This is the first game of the Europa League. Let's get into it. Yes, hello ladies and gentlemen and Cagliari are top of Syria. Uh, what a start to the uh, to the season we've had. 6 points from 6, 2 wins, 0 draws, 0 losses, 6 goals for, 2 against. We have been playing very very well. Uh, today we are actually taking on Braga and AC Milan. Braga in the uh, Europa League from Portugal. And we'll be taking on Milan, which will, should be, I mean, looking at the league table, a relatively easy game because Milan aren't up there at the top at all. But we've had a couple of signings that have come in as well on deadline day. We've brought in two strikers. We've brought in Gonzalez, who is a 24-year-old, very quick, very short forward very different to what we've got already. So we've brought in, you know, a sort of plan B. If we want to go big man, little man, then this is the guy we bring on. Gonzalez, acceleration 96, speed 89, balance 92, finishing 79. He's going to be good on the ball. He's going to be hard to push off the ball. But um, yeah, I thought we're bringing it. It cost like 1.6 million. I thought, why not give it a go? Why not give it a go? Right footed, centre forward, Fox in the box. So we'll have to see how he gets on. We've also brought in, that some of you may remember the name, Brenner. From Boca Juniors, we took him to Boca Juniors way back at the beginning of this save. And uh, he comes in again. Again, he's another different option to have a bit more of an all-rounder. Uh, he's He was good in the air, got good control, good finishing. So we bring him in on loan from Boca Juniors just again as another option, a bit of cover. And that's all we needed, really. Everyone else has settled in unbelievably well into the team. We are doing well. If I sound like I'm a little bit hoarse or nasal today, uh, I've had quite a heavy weekend. So, yeah, a little bit little bit struggling hungover-wise. Uh, my new United kit has arrived as well, which I'm delighted with and wearing right now. And it does have Ronaldo on the back. But anyway... This is what we look like. We beat Monza 3-1 in the second match day. Uh, very easy result there. And we beat Sampdoria 3-1. So it's back-to-back 3-1s after a 3-1 loss. So a bit, of a, a bit of a theme happening here for Cagliari this season. But yeah, Sporting Braga are up first. Then we go and play Milan. So I'll sort out the team. We'll be right back. And yeah, into the Europa League we go. Oh, yes, I did also forget that we've brought in Neto, 35-year-old Neto on loan. We just needed a, a third choice or a third option as a goalkeeper. So now Andronacci becomes the third choice. Krugano still says number one, and Neto comes in as the backup. But, yeah, this is how we're going to be lining up for this one. Krugano in goal, Nino, Vakalevsky, and Benkovic at the back. Uh, Mariba, Torres, Saar, Hlozek, Shakvatidis, Xerxes, and Sorloff. On the bench, we will be going with Neto, McKenzie, Diego Delo, Nuno Tavares, Thiago Dantes, Gio and Gonzalez, the new striker. Missing out Piscane, a bit unlucky to miss out. Venuti's nowhere near the first team anymore. Cristante drops out of the squad. Obviously, a reduced number of subs on the bench for this one. But uh, yeah, well, let's let's get into it straight away. No hanging around. The kit should be fine. I'm just going to have a quick let check to see what Braga playing other than that. Oh, we'll put them in all white, I think, actually. I think that's a little bit better. Right, let's get into it. So here we are then, the opening game of the Europa League group stage for Cagliari. New heights they've reached under Zlatko Zahovic. A wonderful season last year. If it had just had a bit more luck, we probably could have pushed for the Champions League. We were one place off getting in the Champions League. Third place is that Champions League spot. But reinforcements have been brought in. We've started the season really well. Let's get into it and see how we get on. So Sorloff to get us underway. Mariba looks for uh, looks for Torres out on this side. Ibrahim Ismaili Sar, not Ibrahima. Ibrahima used to be a striker back in the day. Uh, Mariba just got to try and move this around. Looking for a quick a quick start would be really good here. Klozek up against Zikalos. Klozek just turns, tries to put the ball in towards the back post towards Zerxi, beaten in the air. Sar it falls to him. What a hit from Sar! Great save from the keeper. Good start from Cagliari, this. Hlozek did well on the uh, left-hand side. Cut it back onto his right foot. Dinked it in towards Xerxes. He headed away, and Saar just went, yeah, why not? Bang. Great hit. Good save. Corner ball. So, Shaq Vatidis is on the corner. What can he do to put this one in? It goes all the way to, to the back post. Oh, it's uh, Sorloth's had time to bring that down. He finds Moriba with a shot. Oh, over the bar, but again, positive. Positive. It was a good ball in. Headed away really well. Saw off good chest control. Mariba just called for it. Got it past that defender. Good shot, but 
Too central, but over the bar. Not a bad effort. Gaetan up to Abel Ruiz for Braga. Great little turn that to get away, but Benkovic comes over, tries to put a tackle in. Gaetan with a shot. Good save, Cogano. First time the Cagliari goalkeeper's been forced into action, and uh, he deals with it reasonably well. I mean, he put, pushed it wide from the shot. It was good. Saar brings it forward. He's got lots of space to run into here. Options in the middle. One of them is Moriba. That is one of the worst passes I've ever done in the history of Pez. Ricardo Horta out to Zicarlos as Braga are happy to keep possession. But Xerxes has robbed that possession. Knocks it off towards Saar. Saar can uh, try and put a cross in from a little bit deeper. Up towards Sorloth. Keeper with a good punch. And uh, Andrea Horta will get there. Here is... Moriba. Moriba still going and he's trying to trick his way through and nearly did. And Mateus will clear that one away towards Abel Ruiz. Horta keeps it alive and Braga keep possession but at the moment it is Cagliari who have shown the more attacking intent. We'll have to be careful though because Braga are dangerous. Up it goes towards Abel Ruiz who has turned away from Vakalevsky into Horta and uh, Benkovic covers very well. Sorloth picks the ball up in a central attacking position. Xerxes out wide towards Saar who can use his pace. Saar still just trying to... St ah, defender just got back at me there really well. Saar trying to turn. Puts a cross in towards the near post but Shaq Fatidis just caught on his toes and easy for Mateus in goal. It still is us playing the better football but Braga have looked a little bit dangerous at times. Shaq Fatidis can't quite get that one. Zeke Carlos out to Ricardo Horta who's uh, just pressured very well by Moriba who kept that one in and then it's just just terrible passing and Ruiz has turned and shoots good block Vakalevsky corner ball then Nuno Sikeria to take it for Braga 20 minutes gone Sikeria's ball in Shaq Fatidis is at the near post and can head it away Zikarlos looks to keep it alive Horta back to the corner taker Sikeria but Torres has done a fantastic job there defending that one and there could be a counter attack on here. Mariba looks for. Oh, Mariba's having such a good game other than passing, which is quite a fundamental part of his game. Zikarlos, that's a good block. Vakalevsky up against Ruiz. Vakalevsky does win it. Hozek can bring that down. Shaq Fatidis has got Saar bombing forward. And Saar's got lots of space to run into here. And that's a heavy touch. Xerxes wins a wonderful flick on to find Saar. And it is all, all the, the danger for Kegler. He's coming down this right hand side with Saar. And I've I beat him and then forgot to put the cross in. But we've got a throw in. We have got some tall people that we can aim for with a bit of a longer throw here. And I think we're going to try that. So let's get... Um, Sorloth can come all the, way, like, all the way down here. Look, he's being slowly, slowly marked. Sorloth up, wins the header. Oh, just trying to flick it onto Xerxes. He didn't quite get that right though. And uh, Abel Ruiz is there. Vakalevsky with a good tackle. He picks out Hlozek. Shaq Fatidis, Sorloth. Into Xerxes. Oh, he's nearly getting back into Sorloff there. And Mariba again. I swear that's not where I'm aiming with him. I swear I'm aiming at the player. Berner picks out a wonderful ball to Galeno, who puts it in towards Abel Ruiz. And once again, Abel Ruiz in the air is not getting anything out of Vakalevsky or Benkovic. And he's caught offside there. Cagliari get lucky. Berner just trundles over the halfway line to Gaetan. Up to Abel Ruiz, who turns it once again. Vakalevsky, the back three for Cagliari have been... Bloody superb in this game. Xerxes on to Saar. Saar showing good pace. Manages to get the ball away just before he's tackled. Sorloff flicks it on one more. Shaq Vatidis flicked it to Sorloff. And Sorloff flicked it on to Hlozek. And Hlozek could be in here. Hlozek tries to drill it low. It's very good defending to be fair. Got back. Covered out the cross. And uh, Gaitan looks up towards Abel Ruiz again. This time he had space to time. Space to time. Space and time to turn. Galino. Galino just... Taking his time with the cross. Oh, it's hit Nino. But uh, luckily it falls into the arms of Cregano. Give it to his centre-back. Nino up to Saar. Saar into Torres. Torres giving a bit of freedom to bring forward. Shaq Fatidis tries to find Sorloff. Good first touch, but he's offside. Oh, I was about to bang that. There's going to be one touch onto the right foot and then shoot. Sorloff just goes a bit too quick and unlucky. Unlucky. Nino, what a ball that is into Sorloff. Sorloff with a touch. He has a shot from range. It's an easy save for Mateus, but Nino's just picked out a wonderful pass from the back there. Superb bit of passing from the centre-back. As it's half-time, nil-nil. We've been the better team. I think they've forced Kragano into a bigger save than maybe we've forced Mateus into, but three shots for us, two for them, both having two on target. 
Carverhouse men will be pretty happy, I think, nil-nil at the moment at halftime. So then straight into the second half. No changes for us. No changes for Braga. Yeah, we need to pick it up a little bit. I feel like maybe trying to put their defence under a bit more pressure. We're going to go more of an attacking mentality. But also, oh, hello. We could be in it. Sorloff is going to get there first. Into Xerxes. Oh, why did I put that in the air? Sar flicks it and fell. Xerxes still going to get there. Shoots. Keeper with the save and cleared away off the line. And once again, we start the half the speed of an absolute freight train we we come out of the blocks we just can't make our opportunities count Torres into Saar Moriba invited forward he picks out Hlozek Hlozek looks to dink this one in it's, under, well, it's aiming for Torres who's one of the shortest players for us on the pitch so not the best idea of a cross Hlozek this time tries to put it in early again this time towards Xerxes that's a better target Sorloff oh is that a corner ref is that a corner it's a corner defender blocked it Sorloff got the shot off and uh, Shaq Fatidis is over this one. I think he is still our best corner taker, yeah. We're going to go for a little bit of a loopy one towards the back post, actually. Shaq Fatidis sticks it on up. Sorloff is there. Keeper comes a long way and claims it. Yeah, I'm hoping, I was hoping for back post Sorloff or Xerxes head it back across, but just didn't work. Benkovic down the line looking for Hlozek or Sorloff. Mariba's going to pick up that loose ball into Shaq Fatidis. Little back heel into Xerxes. Xerxes left-footed. It's in the top corner. And Xerxes done it again. This boy... Is superb for Cagliari. Xerxes gets the goal. Shaq this lovely little back heel. Mariba finally actually gives a pass to someone that he was meant to. He pounced on that loose ball, Mariba, into Shaq Fatidis. Little back heel there to Xerxes. Left-footed shot. Top corner. Mateus can't save that one. It's 1-0 Cagliari and we're ahead in the Europa League. What a season this could potentially be. Shaq this lovely back heel. Defender wasn't expecting it and Xerxes smashes it home. 1-0. Come on. So as Braga get the game back underway, an hour gone, and we find ourselves 1-0 up. I think it's deserved. I think that's a good goal. Uh, very well deserved. We actually strung some passes together. Got the right people we needed to on the ball. Mariba, Shaq Fatidis. Like, it's good. I feel like we're playing well. Ricardo Horta. But now we've just got to know that they could pounce Braga at any time. They haven't been incredibly dangerous, but that's going to go out, isn't it? Yeah, good. That's gone out. Yeah, they've not been dangerous at all. We've kept them at bay, but you never know with Pez. Sorloff with a fantastic header one from that goal kick there from Krugano. Klozek just trying to create a little bit of space. He's got two men in the box. One of them is Sorloff. Sorloff flicks it on. Maybe could have, I maybe could have gone for goal. I maybe could have gone for goal. Goal kick. Sorloff looks out wide, invites Klozek onto the ball. Klozek has got Sorloff there again. Sorloff tries to put that one through to Shaq Fatidis. On towards Xerxes again. Those two really starting to link up. Shaq Fatidis and Xerxes are doing very well. Sorloff's having a great game as well. The defenders are all playing really well. It's been such a good performance all round. We need to, uh, we just need to make sure we keep at it as Benkovic has missed out there. Ruiz shoots past the post. We said before, they can be dangerous. That's, that's Pez. I thought we had won this ball so many times, but Ruiz stuck it through. Good hold up play here. Just managed to poke a ball through. Mariba luckily tracked his man and uh, goes past the post. Cragano with a long goal kick again. Sorloff once again wins the flick on. He's been absolutely outstanding in the air, Alexandra Sorloff. But he saw. I think he, I feel like he deserves a goal for his performance. To be honest, Xerxes is the goal scorer at the moment. Though 20 minutes to go, uh, one nil up still for Cagliari. Long ball forward. That should be easy for Nino, who's had a very good game in his first one in the Europa League. And uh, Sars in a race with Berner. Berner can't keep it in though, and it will be a throw in to Cagliari. Okay, so we've just had a good solid five minutes of just keeping possession and keeping the ball and trying to knack a Braga out as they I mean Abba Ruiz is doing a one-man pressing job and it's really not working for them at the moment Benkovic is going to go long because there was some space up there as a few more people came out Sorloff wins yet another header Shaq Fatidis brings this one down Mariba into Torres back to Mariba you can use Nino Nino again just looking up on the radar can see Sorloff in a bit of space Sorloff is there oh Z Carlos is going to give away a cheap corner. And we use our first substitution and Xerxes. Round of applause for Xerxes getting the goal. He is replaced by Gonzalez, the uh, the small nippy striker. So a bit of a change of tactic for Cagliari. It's going to come out to Holazic. It's not going to fall nicely for a shot though, but Saar might fancy one on the left foot. Oh my word, it's hit the back stanchion. Oh my word, what an effort. We don't get to see a replay, not too sure why. But, um, yeah, we're going to be looking up for long balls towards Sorloff. Maybe for Gonzalez to win the flicker. And there's him using his pace already. As uh, Vakaleski looks to stick that one through. 
Not too sure why Vakileski is so high up the pitch. Mariba does well to get a touch on that, but it's going to be a throw in to Braga. So another substitution then. Benkovic at the back, off for McKenzie for this one. Sticking with the same formation. We're not mixing it up, but uh, Benkovic looking a little bit tired. So he comes off to replace it by McKenzie at the back, and the captaincy hands over to Vakileski. Zeke Carlos up towards Ricardo Hotter. The ball in. Oh my word, no one's tracked the run, and well, Gilano has just boomed that over the bar. Absolutely shocking defending. You can see Galano, top of the screen, just runs in behind Nino, who's had a great game. He really should have finished that. Terrible finish. Gonzalez, lovely footwork to get round one and not round one. He's got round two. And Gonzalez on his debut. What a save from Mateus. The long ball forward from Cragano from the goal kick. Flicked on from Sorloff. Gonzalo picks it up. And look at this for footwork. There's one double touch. There's another one. And he keeps getting into the box. Fierce shot. Great save from Mateus. Could have been the striker's first goal on his debut. And what an introduction that would have been for Gonzalez. Yeah, he's looking good. They looked, he looked very nippy to run with the ball. Right, Shaq Fatidis. We're going to try the back post towards Sorloff again. It's actually high towards Torres. Torres can't win it. It's going to fall to Hlozek. Here's Saar. Back to Hlozek. Tries to put that one in towards the back post. Shaq Fatidis can't win the header. And Nino's going to run up. We'll let that just drift out. We don't need to take this throw in quickly unless there's... Uh, an easy option, which there isn't really. So we'll just take our time back to Torres. And, uh, well, let's let's just keep the ball. We've got four minutes. I'd love to start the Europa League group stage with a win as uh, oh, Mariba's had a bit of a shocker there. I'm happy to try and give a foul away, in all honesty, as uh, it's up. It's back. Andre Horta into Hernan Infantin. Infandi? I can't say that name. Vakalevsky with a great challenge, though. Vakalevsky's got Sorloff and Gonzalez in front of him. He picks out Sorloff. Sorloff looks to cut it back towards Torres. Torres with a touch and Almirazrati gets in there with a good, good challenge and had to get that right. Galliano with four minutes of added on time. Galliano comes forward up against Mariba. Mariba shows great strength and just wins that pretty easily, to be honest. Torres can't quite get onto the end of the pass, though. Galliano. Horta. McKenzie just, I don't want to dive in with my centre-back, so Horta. On the ball again. Andre Horta looks into Ricardo Horta. Into Infande. He's going to shoot. And it's a great save from Cragano. I was already about to say he's going to score. Because it's the 93rd minute. And the AI very rarely miss those opportunities when they turn you like that. But he turned Vakalevsky. Good shot. Oh, good save from, from Cragano. Kept us in it there. It is a corner though. As we bring on Gio to replace Shaq Fatidis for the last 30 seconds. Nuno Sequeria. He's putting some good deliveries today. Surely this is the last attack. McKenzie underneath it. Great header away from McKenzie. Falls to Andrea Hota. Zeke Carlos gets a shot off. Lozek is underneath it. He wins the header. Sorloth is there. We're going to clear that away. And it's 1-0. We start the Europa League with a win. And that is what we like to see. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. We'll look at the rest of the group in just a second as well. Man of the match is probably Sorloth. Uh, not Sorloth. Zerkzy, sorry. Yeah, Zerkzy gets man of the match. But uh, a good game. A very good game. Happy with that one. And uh, we start with a win. So the other teams in our group, Zenit beat Ross County. So Ross County representing Scotland getting in, which is very nice to see. Um, but yes, they have three points as well. They won 4-0. We won 1-0. So we sit second in the group. But off to a winning start. Brilliant. So hello, ladies and gentlemen. We're back for some Syria uh, action. And it's top of the league versus 14th, but not in the uh, order you would have expected. Milan sitting down in 14th position. Cagliari topping Syria at the moment after two games. The two teams are just about ready to go. A couple of changes for Cagliari as um, well, I'm trying to remember what changes I've done now. Seri comes in up front to replace Sorloff and it's on the left-hand side where Nuno Tavares, the new signing, gets his first action in Syria. Uh, and uh, yeah, he comes in to replace Hlozek. A little bit of fitness issues after the game in the Europa League where Cagliari picked up the win and here's Xerxy around the corner to Shaq Fatidis. Shaq Fatidis just holds it up. Tavares back to Shaq Fatidis and looks like a very promising start here as Shaq Fatidis' shot just goes past the post. Oh, he's one that's probably going to come off early in this game after being tired from the Europa League, but he started this one very well. Tavares back to Shaq Fatidis. Good little one-two. A powerful drive, but wasn't troubling the goalkeeper. Nuno Tavares picks up the ball and goes long, looking for the run of Shaq Fatidis, and Shaq Fatidis nearly got in behind there. Uh, Cristante is back in central midfield as well. I forgot to mention that one. Saar puts the ball in, looking for Seri Duarte with a good header. 
Duart with a good defensive header. Cristante just robs that ball straight away. I was actually looking through for Xerxes there, but he's just caught on his toes. Didn't really get them the movement like I would have wanted it. That's a poor ball out. Cristante can try and take advantage of it. Out to Nuno Tavares again. Again, we're going to try an early cross from deep. It's a shame it's gone towards Shaq Fatidis. I need it to go towards Xerxes or Seri. I'm talking of Seri. He's at the back post. There he is. Can he get above? Do what he does. Oh, AC Milan are under the cosh right now. As uh, Linetti looks to get it away towards Hodge on this left-hand side. Chanaloglu puts the ball through. Vakalevsky has to come over and try to track Hodge. Does stop him from making a lot of progress. Hernandez goes back towards Hodge. Keeps that one in. It, oh, nearly. Bought it down well. Just couldn't quite keep it in. 15 minutes gone. Nil-nil. We have been the better team, I would say. Um, we've got Seri and Xerxes up front, so quite a lot of height. And we are managing to, to to get them involved. And that's a wonderful ball through from Shaq Fatidis into Seri. Seri with the chip and Adrian just plucks it out of the sky. And that is the danger that we can cause AC Milan. We can use our height up front to our advantage. And we do have Brenner and Gonzalez on the bench if we want a bit more pace to come on later on in the game. Similar to what we did against Braga. Shaq Fatidis. Nuno Tavares. Oh, I was trying to just dig that one through first time. Didn't quite get it right. Samu Castillo. That's a good ball, but Cragano reads it. Here is Samu Castillo again. It's another ball in, and Hodge actually wins the header, and he's hit the bar with that. I think Cragano had it covered, but it's a dangerous attempt. It was a little just quick breakout from AC Milan. Not something we've seen much of. Out of Samu Castillo, trying to put it in behind the defence, and Nino got caught underneath it. Well, I don't know if Cragano did have that covered, but yeah, hits the bar. Xerxes just oh, robbed by Linetti. I was going to say, just holding it up, waiting for the pass, but it actually turned out he was robbed by Linetti. And Hernandez has the ball for AC Milan. 25 minutes gone, and we've been the, we've been by far the better team, but they've hit the bar. As uh, Hors just accelerates down the left-hand side, up against Saar, who just robs him. Can't keep it in, though. Good tackle, out for a throw-in. What are AC Milan going to do from here? Chanaloglu flicks that one in to Hors. Horge goes back to Linetti, who just managed to avoid the pressure from Shaq Fatida. So does Hernandez as well with a good little roundabout. Chanaloglu, we know he's got a dangerous free kick and long range shot on him. Hernandez. Horge back to Hernandez again. Into Horge. Good little, good little move this from AC Milan. It's going to end in a throw in though. Half an hour gone. Nino blocks the cross from Horge and it goes out. What are AC Milan again? Another throw in for them. Hernandez, he's going to go. Long with this one, is he? He's going to go in towards Horge. Flicks that one back to Benesur. Sammy Castillo. Nagatomo. On it for AC Milan. Good pressure from Mariba. And Seri picks up the loose ball. And Alberto Seri just takes a bit of a bit of pressure out of the game. Nuno Tavares up towards Shaq Fatidis. Not a good pass, though. Leo Duarte easily can intercept it. Benesur. Nagatomo. Romagnoli. Hakan Shanaloglu for AC Milan. Linetti gives it back to the Turkishman. Rafael Leal turns the Brazilian in a great opportunity here. Sammy Castillo. Well, he looks surely offside, referee. Surely offside. Rafael Leal has put that in. The goal is going to stand. That looks so far offside. Who's playing him on here? Rafael Leal knocked it out to Sammy Castillo. I, ca I cannot see for the life of me who is keeping him onside. Who on earth is keeping him onside? Rafael, Rafael Leal here gives it out to Sammy Castillo. Sammy Castillo, there is the pass. Okay, that is the connection of the pass. Um, I need to. How do I change? I can't remember how I change camera angle now. On here, how do I change camera angle? X. There we go. Oh, it's um, it's Saar. Saar is keeping him on side. Oh, my word. It's a lovely one. He appeals. Saar appeals. But Rafa Leal is never going to miss from there. And somehow we find ourselves 1-0 down. So Caglia have had the better opportunities. But find themselves 1-0 down. Chak Fatidis tries to invite Saar forward. Who is at fault for that goal, I think. It's a long ball over towards Nuno Tavares. He's not going to get there. Mariba tries to beat Castillo to the ball. And does. And actually has a very good touch to get round him as well. Mariba looks to fire this one across. Romagnoli got to get in the way of the low cross annoyingly. Benkovic just uh, realises he's got no crossing ability, so uses Cristante. Saar. Shaq Fatidis in a bit of space. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. I pressed the wrong button. Mariba's probably going to get a yellow card for that tackle. Sammy Castillo brings it forward. Nagatomo. 
good challenge there. Benkovic stretches her leg and manages to just get a touch on the ball. Seri into Xerxes. Can flick it on one more and does to Saar. Saar can see Xerxes going again. Didn't quite get that. That's fantastic speed from Saar though. Saar dinks in across towards Xerxes. Xerxes with the header. Just not accurate enough. He is in top form, Joshua Xerxes. And it just couldn't make that happen. That's annoying. Saar showed great pace to win that one back. Ball in. Xerxes, good header down. Not troubling Adrian in goal, though. And Mariba does pick up a yellow card for the, the slide tackle earlier. Half time then, 1 0 AC Milan. Not what I thought would happen. We've been the be I think we've been the better team. But um, they've got possession, they've got the goal. 1 0 Milan at half time. I was tempted by a couple of changes, but no changes uh, for us at half time. None for Milan either. Uh, I mean, they'll be happy. 1 0 up. 1 0 up, and they're keeping us relatively quiet. I do think our height can cause them a few issues, like it does most teams, but Hernandez. He's, uh, well, he's under pressure here. Is there? He can come from the other side. And that is a panicked clearance. And Alberto Seri has pounced. Seri's in. Seri shoots. What a save from Adrian in goal. I didn't go for the little chip. I thought I'd go for the little more placed finish. It's going to fall to Shaq Fatidis. He has a drive. Adrian with the save. Xerxes can't get there either. Again, another absolutely frantic start from Cagliari at the half. Tavares tries to put that one back into the box. And Sammy Castillo will turn. But Mariba's done very well on that yellow card, Mariba. So... Has to get his tackles right. Tavares to Mariba again. But Tavares, he struggled a little bit on the left wing. Tavares and, well, Rafael Liao has got acres of space to run into here. Luckily, he's slowed it down a little bit. However, it goes back to Sammy Castillo, who's got Cristante for company. And that's some good that's good, good pressure in there from Cristante. He's done very well. Chanaloglu is robbed by Moriba. It's a long ball forward from Krugano. Xerxes does win the flick on, but not accurately directed as uh, Horge is there. Linetti forced backwards, but AC Milan are just holding on here. As, oh, now they've got men forward. Castillo, that's not a good pass, luckily. I think the ref will bring that back for a free kick. Yes, he will. I did catch him late. So when you've got Hassan Chanaloglu on it, this is a dangerous free kick. Gonzalez is on to replace Seri and Krugano with a good save there. So... We've gone for a little bit less height up front, a bit more pace in Gonzalez. He had a, a, a decent impact against Braga in the Europa League, so I'm hoping for something a bit similar. Saar, Shaq for Didis. Gonzalez makes the run in towards Xerxes. Xerxes can flick that one onto Saar. Saar can try. I was trying to just dink that into the box gently, but didn't quite work. Hernandez. Let's keep this pressure on, boys. Come on, keep this pressure on. Chanaloglu, Linetti. That should be easy for Nino and Iz. Nino. Vakalevsky. Cristante. Out towards Nuno Tavares. who's picked up a good little pocket of space here. Not the best control, but it keeps it alive. As if, as if. Why wouldn't Mariba just go and get that ball? Linetti. Rafael Liao plays it into Castillo. He's gone out to Horge as Nino drifted in to cover the space. Horge is there. He's getting into the box, Horge. He's great run into Rafael Liao again. He shoots and Krugano with a top save. So Horge on the right hand side, just cut in field. A good little effort. Cut it back, Rafael Liao, and that's a top save from Krugano. Or Kragno. I keep thinking I'm adding an extra A in. I think it's Kragno. But we'll call him Krugano because that's what we always call him. Um, Saar is replaced by Diego Delo. So a change at a right midfield. A bit of a left pace. Less pace, but better crossing ability as Delo has done. Very well, straight into the action, Diego Delo. Look at this for a start from the uh, the Portuguese right back, come right midfielder, Tavares. Tavares is still going. Tavares can shoot. Oh, Adrian, how has he caught that? Unbelievable save. Linetti into Hernandez, out to Horge again, who's getting involved in the game for Ace Milan. He's opening up the game here. That's a ball in. Krugano will just gather that one up. A quick clearance though, looking for Xerxes. Doesn't win the header. He's actually flipped backwards, although Gonzalez has used his pace. And this is what we bought him for. Gonzalez can cut it across. Shaq for Tidis. Oh, I've missed. I've missed an absolute sitter. Gonzalez, great pace for the interception. And then he accelerated away. I went a little bit wide, cut it across, and Shaq for Tidis has had an absolute shocker. Tavares looks to poke it through to Shaq for Tidis. It is going to get there. Shaq Fatidis just knocks it out wide. Diego Delo tries to fire that one across, but just got numbers back. A bit of a wasted opportunity again for Cagliari. We're just struggling 
to just break down in the final stage. And when we did break them down, I missed an open goal. Can you believe it? Rebic, who's come on to replace Hodge, gets past Nino. Referee says play on as Nino did catch his ankles. And that's a wonderful ball to give it back to Rebic. Rebic up against Nino again. And, uh, well, he sort of got round him and then cut back. Maldini with a header, who's come on to replace Channel Oglu, but that's easy for Glagno. And again, up towards Xerxes quickly, not hanging around. Xerxes surely fouled there, ref. Surely, but, well, we'll play on because Cristante's got it and he can put through Shaq Fatidis and Shaq Fatidis can rob Leo Duarte and Shaq Fatidis to make up for his first error. No, he's missed again. That time I went for the lob. Mariba keeps it alive. Xerxes, he's got Nuno Tavares out wide. Nuno Tavares looks to dink it across. Shaq Fatidis is there again. It's going to fall to Mariba with a hit. And oh my word. And now it's three on three. And Rafa Liao has found Rebic. Rebic up against Nino. Liao. Oh, and that's a good block on that one from Akalevsky. Cristante can't quite get there. Seven minutes to go. I don't know how we haven't scored. <laughs> Wasted such good opportunities in this game. That's a good ball through. Diego Delo's got to do some defending now on that right hand side. Rebic cuts back, gets round him. He also puts it into Rafael Liao. He turns, he shoots, it's 2-0. And from one end, where we could have made it 1-1 with two really good chances, Rafael Liao has made it 2-0 Milan. And our perfect start to the season is going to be ending, you would imagine, here. Turn shot, as I said. They don't generally miss them, the AI. It's a lovely finish. As uh, Rebic just pokes it into him. One touch to turn, holds off Vakalevsky. Fires it in the top corner. And with that, we'll make our third and final change with five minutes to go. Gio comes on for Shaq Fatidis. And, well, he's missed two glorious chances. Probably should have been pulled off a bit earlier. Mariba goes long towards Xerxes, trying to get him in behind. But Romagnoli stands firm. And we have pushed more people up now to try and get a result here as Sammy Castillo picks up the loose ball. And it's getting, it's, I swear it was Rafael Leal scored a brace last time we played Milan as well on camera. Samu Castillo. Still holding on to the ball somehow. Linetti, a couple of minutes to go. Rebic holding off the low, but now has Cristante for company as well. Cristante can turn, find Diego de Lowe, who locks that one forward. But, oh, well, Gonzalez has won the header, even though he's an absolute midget. And Nuno Tavares has got some space to run into here. Tavares, I'm just going to go for it with Tavares on our own. Shot goes past the post. Good play from Gonzalez and Xerxes, but, yeah, I was a bit greedy. Tavares had the pace to get in behind. I knew it would be a good effort. Yeah, just, oh, I don't know. It's not been our game today. Adrian's made some superb saves, kept them in it. We've missed glorious chances. Shaq Fatidis with the open goal was a shocker. Absolute shocker. And uh, it looks like it's going to be 2-0 Milan to finish this one. So it is not the best episode, but or not the best game. We won in the Europa League, which is what we wanted. But Leo... Um, Leo Duart, he was a centre-back. Rafael Liao has a great game up front for AC Milan. He'll be the match winner, but look at that. Ten shots and only two on target. Oh, my word. That is that is shocking. Shaq Fidesz somehow comes away with a six, even though he missed an open goal. Uh, Nuno Tavares gets a 4.5, although he didn't really do too much wrong. So, yeah, there you go. Disappointing. What does that do for the league table? Well, let's find out. Milan beat us, obviously. Roma lost to Atlanta. Juventus win 3-0, so they'll probably go top of the league. Uh, no, Lazio go top. We drop down to fifth, so we're not out of it yet. Only three points off Lazio, who are now uh, unbeaten, as are Udinese. But uh, Inter and Juventus both dropping points, so who knows? Could be a bit more of an open table, this one. But thank you so much for watching. We're going to be back for... Um, I don't know who that next Europa League game is, but it'll probably be that. We'll probably come back for that, because Europe is, is what we want. National teams call up. We've got an offer for Cristante, and we've got two players in scouting that we want to have a look at but um zenit st petersburg is who we'll be back for we'll do zenit and atalanta uh, and then we'll have cagliari and torino a team that we've not really seen on camera much that much but yes we'll be back for the game against zenit thank you so much for watching for now i'm out cheers